going to do a review of the new uh, new game by uh, by Oka Studios, owned by NetEase, produced by the peoples of our world. Uh, produced Visions by of mana. or published by Square Enix, Visions of Mana. Um, so, uh, Visions of Mana, it's the latest entry in the uh, in the Mana series, following Val and his companions on their journey to the Mana Tree. Uh, so, there may be some mild spoilers. I'm not going to go into story spoilers or anything like that. Uh, might be some mild spoilers when uh, with stuff on the screen. Um, but, uh, otherwise shouldn't be any spoilers for the review, so don't worry about that. Um, also, I'll just show this here. I've got about 35 hours played, so. Okay, so, our story, yeah, our main character is Val, Val, the person here in front of me, and Val is a soul guard. He, it is his job to safely escort a group of alms to the mana tree every four years uh each village holds a special ceremony and one person is selected to become the alm who has to make a pilgrimage to the mana tree and ultimately uh they sacrifice themselves to keep the world's mana from fading and preventing disaster from f befalling their villages uh as you can kind of see here the art style in the game is very colorful, it's very vibrant, creatures, you know, as you can see with the, you know, my little friend here, and, uh, you know, some over there are all very vibrant. Um, some creatures and characters do return from old games, don't have to worry about that, uh, you know, knowing them to uh, uh, sort of really, like, know who they are. Um, also. Uh, the music in the game is all very good, from what I've experienced, so we have that as well. Over the course of the game, uh, you'll assemble a group of five playable characters, as you see here. Um, now, each of which has not only its own starting class, but eight other classes that you'll unlock as the game goes on. Uh, each of which, each of these has their own skill tree. Uh, the interesting party building thing though is uh you only have because each of these you'll see there it says is associated with one of the elemental vessels you'll find over the course of the journey but you only have one of each so if i want to be rune knight that means only one person can have the uh the class associated with this vessel in your party so it does Make some for some interesting uh, party party building and party dynamic and whatnot. And so the game is fairly linear, um, although many areas are extremely large and do allow for a fair bit of exploration. Um, also, outside of towns and cities, uh, not only can you double jump, but you can uh, dash in the air, which does provide you with a lot of mobility. Uh, for exploring and for combat. Um, so, combat is fast-paced and very fluid. Um, you can get into fights easily, and then when you're done, immediately carry on. Uh, it has typical RPG mechanics in that a lot of enemies have resistances and weaknesses to various, you know, different elemental effects and whatnot. Um, your companions have adjustable AI strategies that you can customize as well, uh, which allows, you know, which does allow for them to, uh, you can customize their behavior if one of them is supposed to be, you know, sort of a supportish character or a healer or things like that. Um, yeah, battles, like regular battles can be a little simple, but they, you know, but uh, boss fights do get more and more engaging as, uh, you know, as the game goes on. Um, I will admit, however, here is a bit of a sticking point for me, is that um, as you get further into the game, um, your NPC companions can tend to have uh, more issues uh, dealing with 
some of the boss mechanics and say like they'll just stand in aoe's or not dodge attacks or things like that and it can kind of lead to you potentially or myself at least feeling like i'm potentially like babysitting the both of them and that's not always ideal um but it is nice that the boss fights do get more complex as the game goes on so that is you know it's it is what it is uh this however does bring me to another unfortunate point which is that this game is only single player and that's unfortunate because almost every game in the mana series since the the entry for super nintendo secret of mana has had multiplayer couch co-op or otherwise and i do wish it was in this title as well because it does feel like this game could have had this but uh, you know i'm not a you know i'm not a game developer so i'm not sure how uh, how difficult that might have been to add um that's it may not be a sticking point for you it's certainly not for me i've played almost 35 hours of the game and i've still enjoyed it so it's not the game doesn't lack for its inclusion it just feels unfortunate that it's not here anyways um that has been uh as i said uh i'm not quite finished with the game yet uh but uh i have thoroughly enjoyed what i've played and i hope uh you consider picking it up as well yeah it's uh available on steam and on e-shops and whatnot um i'm not a fill should have probably said this before uh i did pay for the game i have no affiliation with the uh, square enix or you know netties or anything of that nature uh anyways thank you all so much for watching and i hope you all i hope you all enjoy the game or uh i hope you all enjoy your day all right have a good one